coach and our student athletes as soon as he's done? Uh, it's great to finally play a game. You know, it, it really is. is uh, it's why we all fell in love with the game. It was a chance to, to compete and, and to play. And uh, so it was really good for for our team to, to actually have a chance to play. And uh, we did a lot of good things. We have a lot of the teach, teachable moments that we can look back on. Uh, St. Martin's uh, obviously an excellent three-point shooting team, which we, which that's really all we knew about them coming in. We had no game film, nothing to prepare on. Uh, but um, credit to them for shooting the three-point shot well. Um, we made a couple slide adjustments in the second half, and, and I thought our defense was better in the second half. Uh, but um, you know, put up 98 points in a game is, is a plus. We had a lot of guys contribute, and uh, it's a good starting point for us to build on. Can you kind of touch on the adjustments you made at halftime defensively to so kind of clamp down on that? Well, we just there, there's just one, you know, it's, it's too technical to cover in detail here, but there's one thing we hadn't even talked about at practice yet. You know, we just haven't had a chance to get to it. And so we just it's one scheme that we hadn't taught our team yet. So we just we just kind of taught it. Um, uh, really, I think we talked about timeout, you know, and uh, and and uh, and then it slowed them down a little bit, and, and um, so just a just a product of having 17 new guys and, and not having everything quite in yet. But I don't take anything away from St. Mark because they have a very good shooting team. Mark, uh, you guys had 26 assists. It felt like everybody was playing very unselfishly. Can you talk about what you saw in that regard? Well, you know, I, I haven't. I just was handed the stat sheet, and, and um, you know, I think the thing that, that I like about our team is that we are. We, we tend to practice very unselfishly, and uh, you know, and uh, I don't think we have anybody that, that's a ball stopper. Um, I think they enjoy helping each other get better. We talk about trying to make each other better, and uh, I think tonight we were able to do that. What, thing, what things do you need to improve on looking ahead to Pepperdine? Well, I haven't, I haven't spent one second looking at Pepperdine. Uh, we'll start that process now. We've been totally focused on this game and our team. Uh, there's a lot of things that, that we have to improve on. Our defense is still not anywhere near. I mean, anywhere in the, it's probably not near in the, in the same galaxy of where it needs to be to beat good teams. But we'll learn a lot from tonight's game. Um, obviously, Pepperdine has a very good team, uh, some, some experience coming back. Uh, coach Romar is a terrific and experienced coach. So we'll have to play a lot, a lot better uh, next week to have opportunities to win. Can you talk about Lars, what he gave you? It seemed like he plays with a, a pretty good amount of calm for a young guy and had some blocks and, uh, and uh, finished plays well. What did you think about his, uh, his game? <laughs> <laughs> did I strike a nerve? No, Lars has an unbelievable demeanor. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to rattle Lars. He's very poised. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's not wise beyond his years, but, but he's, he's very poised and um, you know, he, he's, he, he keeps the same level, uh, whether he makes a mistake or he makes a, makes a, a, a good play. Uh, but I think his poise uh, is a real benefit to him. He did a lot of solid things tonight, blocked a couple shots, should have had a couple more, uh, but um, finished the plays around the basket. And obviously, in his, you know, for his first game, the first time in front of people, uh, it's, a good, it's a good start. What did you think, Lars? How would you judge your performance? It was a great experience, like, to be flying on the field. Been waiting very long for this moment. Yeah, I felt, felt pretty good on the field. Kramen, Lars, how did you guys feel handling uh, St. Martin's zone? It felt like you guys kind of got in the swing of things very quickly with the high-low action. Yeah, um, I mean, I think we just leaned on our coach's system. Um, you know, he, he designed plays for us to get guys open, and that was uh, indicative through our assist. So I think we, we were very unselfish and we got guys open. Can you talk about Joel Brown's performance, his facilitating and his ability to get the ball? Just talk about how nice it is to have a point like that. I think it should be. Like yeah, I thought Joel, when he got in there, he, 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 he really did a nice job of making people better. I thought he impacted our, our team defensively. And, and um, you know, obviously, all those freshmen are trying to grow up, you know, and, and uh, I thought he had some good moments. You did not play Kalani tonight. Was he ill, injured, or just yeah? So all, all the guys, we got some dings, which I you know, I'm not going to talk about their medical, you know, but I think they'll all be back soon. But but um, you know, obviously he has a big brace on his leg, so hopefully he can you know, return at some point. I, I'm not I'm not sure what the timetable would be, but but uh, all those guys uh, that didn't see action tonight um, uh, 
uh, should, should hopefully be back in, in action soon. Uh, we will redshirt Blake Welly, uh, but uh, the rest of them should all be back hopefully, hopefully soon. Any other questions? Thanks, everyone. Thank you.